I'm about to do something on my YouTube channel I've never done before. Let's open a pack of comics from Ollie's. Let's go. Comic Army, my name is Chris the Comic Vet. I hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, today we're going to get into a pack that I've never opened before on my channel. Now, my good friend Marvel Matt from Comics by the Bay hooked me up with some Ollie's packs of comic books, which has been mentioned to me over the last few years. Because my channel is known for opening Walmart packs, both DC and Marvel. And uh, the one thing people have said, hey, why don't you try opening some Ollie's packs? Well, here's the truth. I'm here in Canada. And Ollie's is not. Ollie's is just strictly an American company. And in fact, they don't ship to Canada. Or in general, I think. Either way, I have some packs. So thank you, Matt, for hooking me up. And uh, we're going to give this a go. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you get a comment ready. As with the Walmart packs, I want to know, what was your favorite cover? You know uh and oh by the way this is what those packs look like this is collector five pack find original comics from the 70s still present marvel and dc only not that the, not that independence are a bad thing i guess they haven't found their way into these packs so this is it this is the first go in an ollie's pack so again thanks matt i appreciate it my man it's very kind of you to hook me up with these. Truth be told, we made a trade. I hooked him up with some Walmart packs, and he hooked me up with some Molly's packs. So make sure you check out Comics by the Bay. In the future, you might be opening some of those Walmart packs. But let's get into this right away, and right away, it's a banger. It's just a banger. It's a part of the Identity Crisis creative team, it says here, but I thought it was a crossover. Either way, it's this gorgeous cover of Wonder Woman 215. And if you watch my channel, you know that I am a fan of Wonder Woman. I've been collecting Wonder Woman for a while. And uh, let's just find out how old this book is because it does have that classic DC bullseye up there. 2005. So yeah, we have a book that's 17, 18 years old. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, I've, I've never heard of this before. This is the awesome slapstick issue number one from Marvel Comics. I, I, I have no idea what this is. And I'm sure there are people out there like, hey Chris, how do you not know the awesome slapstick? But I don't. And uh, this is a 90s book. As you can see, it's got that big shiny UPC code. And uh, yeah, it is a new stand. It says, at last in his own limited series, uh, The Awesome Slapstick, Part 104, Look Out World, Here I Come. And, uh, yeah. Slapstick. Okay, up next we have, oh, well, this one I, I do know. This is issue number nine of, uh, well, Steel. That's a nice cover. So Louise Simonson uh, was at the helm for this. It looks like from 1994. So yeah, for a book that's that old, it looks to be in terrific shape considering it was in a, a loose plastic pack. Up next, well, it's one of the most famous superheroes right now. It's issue 195 of Iron Man. Very cool, as you can see there's Shaman on the front there. Shaman is a part of the Alpha Flight uh, Canadian superhero team. And uh, we got Rhodey on the cover here with Shaman. Very nice, again, as you can see, the UPC code saying that's a new stand edition. Uh, let's see if we can just see what year this is actually from. 1985. Incredible. Wow. I'm impressed. And the last book, well, here it is. 
Starman. Also from DC, this is issue 36. Uh, times past, Will Payton, a hero once despite himself. And uh, very cool. You know, if you want to sell an extra extra 10 or 20 copies, you throw, you know, you throw the franchise on there. So yeah. All right. Now let's stop for a moment and see what this all works out to be in those recent eBay sales. World Comic Army, this is the price of that Ollie's pack of five comic books, $5.99 US. Now this is what those five comic books work out to be for recent eBay sales. And this is the difference between the two. Well, there's something to be said about these Ollie's packs. There's something to be said. Again, Matt, thank you very, very thank you very much for hooking me up. Well, Comic Army, at this point, please let me know what you think of the packs. Have you ever opened them before? And hey, what was your favorite cover? I gotta admit, I really enjoyed the pack. That Wonder Woman, that Iron Man, they're going into my PC. And we'll see what I do with those other ones. Make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe. Until I see you again, Comic Army, take care.